Imagine you've been lost in the desert. It's hot, 100 plus degrees. It's dry, it hasn't rained in three months. You're thirsty, man, you ran out of water two days ago. You've been burnt so badly, the sun is intense, your skin is bright red, and you're exhausted. Like I said, you're lost, you don't know where to go, you've just been wandering. That is the picture that God has given me. And I feel like there are people who have been scorched under the sun, who are lost in the desert, who ran out of water, who are getting burnt and have no relief. Now go back to the image that I've just created. Go back to the picture. Just picture yourself in the moment. You turn your head to the right and you see a tree. It's humble, it's small, but it's standing there firm and it's created shade. You get excited and, and you walk over there as, as, as fast as exhausted you can walk. You make it into the shade and you feel relief. You feel safety, you feel security. And it's as soon as you make it into the shade, away from the scorching heat of the sun, that you know things are gonna be okay. Like I said, this is the picture that God has given me. The title of my message is Seek the Shade. It's backed by scripture principles, but I simply observed nature and God gave me the message that Jesus is like a tree. Jesus is like a tree. You see, in the desert, when the sun is really intense, you will burn. You will burn in the sun, but seek the shade and you will find relief. That harm the risk of that danger is no longer done. See, trees produce shade. They also don't move. And so the opportunity for protection, for refuge, is always there. As long as the tree stands in the desert, as humble as it is, the opportunity for shade always exists. As long as the sun is in the sky. And God gave me this knowledge that I think is pretty obvious. And I asked myself this question. Do I understand this? Do I seek the shade? Do I seek the shade? Do I accept the fact that my body cannot shade itself? And do I recognize that when fully exposed to the sun, I will burn. I will burn when fully exposed to the sun. Do I seek the shade? I asked myself these questions. And I think you guys already understand where I'm going with this metaphor, with this analogy. You see, in it, the sun is our sin. The sun is our transgression, our iniquity that burns us. It burns us. And when we are fully exposed, it destroys us. It burns us to a crisp and we feel it. We're exhausted. We walk around like we're lost. We've been thirsty. We lost our water two days ago. We've been burned. Our skin is bright red because our sin is burning us. And then there's the shade, the relief, the protection, the refuge, the stronghold. That's grace. It's unchanging. And what I mean by that is, as long as the sun shines, there is always an opportunity for shade. Now the object that provides the shade may be different, but the opportunity for shade always exists. As long as our sin is present, the opportunity for grace is always there. It's always there. And it's so readily available. Shade is so readily available but it must be sought. It must be received. Because before you recognize your helplessness, before you recognize your need for the shade, the shade you will not seek and the shade 
you will not find. Before you feel yourself being burned, you're not going to seek the shade. So I ask you, are you being burned? And do you seek the shade for refuge? Look, in the metaphor, that just leaves one last thing, the tree. Like I said, the tree is Jesus. It makes the possibility of shade a concrete reality. See, without the tree, there's an opportunity for shade. As long as the sun shines, as long as the sin is present, the possibility for grace, the possibility for shade is there. But Jesus, the tree, provides the grace, provides the shade. Whether or not someone chooses to seek it. See, in the analogy, the tree existed even before I turned my head to the right. The shade was there before I saw it. It simply stood. It simply stood humbly before the exposure of the sun, all the while producing shade. See, the tree takes on the full force of the sun, converting its intensity to intimacy. See, it, it blocks us from the sun and invites us into the shade. Just as Jesus, just as Jesus uses our sin to save us, the tree uses the sun to both protect and sustain us. When you feel the weight of the sin that is resting on your shoulders, when you feel fully exposed to the sun and you are being burned, I ask you one question. Do you seek the shade? Because it will always be there. The tree will always be there. Just turn your head to the right. And seek it. Seek grace. Receive grace. Repent knowing that you cannot shade yourself and that when fully exposed to the sun you will burn. Humble yourself before the tree. Humble yourself before Jesus and receive grace. Seek grace. For if you do not seek it, then you will not find it. If you do not receive it, then it will not impact you. It will not protect you. It will not relieve you of your pain and your suffering. We are all lost in the desert. But turn your head to the right and you will see the shade.